Got the steering wheels even here. Yeah, I want to say that's even. Yeah, this one's quite a bit bigger, as expected. This car is going to be pretty cool when it's done. It's got the original engine. Check this out. That's how you open the hood. And then underneath, there is a little lever somewhere. That really hurt my hand. Let's see, where is it? It's here. here. There it is. Lift that up. See? Yep, there it was. Where is the... Aha, there it is. And that goes right onto the top of the radiator. Isn't that kind of cool? Okay, so this one is like, uh, I think around, somewhere around, I think they call it 1,500 cc's in line four. It needs an intake, this one needs, it runs, but it needs an intake manifold gasket. It leaks fuel because of that. Just haven't ordered it yet. Other than that, it did run last time that, uh, we started her up. We did manage to get it running. It was a while ago. I want to say three years. Maybe four. The paint is not that bad. It's my brother's car. And it does have, if I can open this up. You know, you could fit some bodies in there. It has some room for some bodies. Right? Oh, here's a stock taillights off of that guy but yeah no you could fit probably three bodies in there not that I'd know there you go that's shut it needs a fuel cap I don't know how the condition what the condition of the tank is on this one most of the doors open real good the interior is not the worst for being from 19, I want to say this is a 52 or a 50, it's anywhere from 50 to 52, I believe. That seat needs to be done. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. There's three on the tree. I don't know what that lever is for. I think it's the parking brake. Little radio. I love the gauges in here. Miles per hour, fuel, wiper. I don't know why it has a wiper and the amp draw off of it. Uh, that says parking light, like P light. This one says starter or what? Starter underneath, but it says water on the gauge. That's weird. This horn, although there's no battery connector right now, this is the loudest horn that I've seen in a stock vehicle. It makes like that big truck, makes that horn look like a bitch horn. This thing here, little glove boxes on both sides. That's kind of cool. Little, this is cool. Got these little ashtrays. There's something that comes out of that one, I think is an ashtray too. We have the paneling for this, it's just not in the car right now. Inside's a little bit weather-worn. Yeah, this is a pretty cool little car. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, good. This is the door that actually opens. I think it's this one that doesn't want to open easily. Same with that one, and you see why there's no handle. Although we have the handle somewhere. It's just not on there right now. We do have the handle. Same as this one. Shuts real nice. Okay, let's go into the driver's seat here. Yeah, that gun needs some work. Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna shut that too. I'm scared of being locked in here, I won't lie. A little bit the idea of that being locked inside freaks me out. So my bro has the key. 
let's take a look at this little thing right here. Demist off warm air. Kind of cool, hey? This is not on there hooked up properly. And I do not know what that is for. I think that might be the fan motor. I don't know. I haven't looked at it yet. So here's your clutch. Here's your brake. Your gas. And these were made for Canada from England. So that's why these, the steering wheel is on the left side where it's supposed to be versus on that side where autistic retards have the steering wheel. Shut the door. There, we have the parts to fix it. Just got to get around to it. Oh, and this only has the one side mirror. Here's your Austin of England. Okay, let's uh, close the hood here. Hold this up. I let her down slow. And look at that emblem too. Like that, I think it's so cool that this is part of the, the part that pulls the hood up. I might have to buy myself one of these. Maybe swap a 350 in it or something. Or maybe an LS. I got an LS lying around here. That'd be cool. Okay, back to the other part of it. Let's look at how the tire sizes compare. Look at this 35 inch tire. Look at that little guy. This would take up the whole fender on that one. If this car got hit by this truck, this truck would walk away okay-ish. And that would just be toast. So like safety standards have come a long way. That's why I think that if they made something like this again, they should bring crumple zones back. It's so short compared to it. But I mean, no shorter than like maybe a Toyota Corolla or something. All the lights do work. We just... I haven't hooked a battery up to this in a long time. Can't wait to see it color. I think my bro wanted to... He wanted two-tone. He wanted like this part, I think, gray. And this part, silver. I think that would look really sharp. And look at this tire, too, like compared to that. That is ridiculous. That is such a big difference. I know that's comparing a truck to a car. But, like, just look how small that was, that used to be. And that was enough for most people. I wonder how good this car would pull my sea -Doo. Or this... Uh, pontoon we're making or that boat or those kayaks probably wouldn't notice it still those are all pretty light maybe the boat oh this window's not rolled up all the way damn it i don't have the part